dear students uh, in this module we will talk about the variables which are used in php and of course uh, they have certain properties and attributes which are not as per what you may have been studying or using so let's go into the details of the module coverage so we will talk about uh, using and naming variables parts of the variables different data types which are used in php uh, about loose typing and strong typing in php there's something which is called as loose typing i will talk about it testing the type of the variable and changing the variable data type so the purpose is that when you are communicating with the end user through your application how do you work with the variables how do you work with different data types because when you are interfacing or connecting through a form there are different fields in the form and there are different data types associated with those fields and php has a very different approach which i will talk about very shortly that you really don't have to declare the variables as in other programming languages so why do we need the variables variable is a container of a value as you may already know and since the contents of that container can vary over a period of time can change because of different operations therefore they are called as variables for example if you just print or echo 2 plus 2 right and then you would like to change the values then you have to make those changes at maybe one place or at many places the variable help you facilitate and make those changes at limited or at only a single place so in php the variables name start with the dollar sign and subsequent to the dollar sign there can be a letter english letter or an underscore so you are not allowed to use a number after the dollar sign and remember that the variables which are declared in php they are case sensitive it means that if you have a variable dollar sign g is capital et dollar get that variable is treated differently from dollar get if the g was upper case or capital so i i believe you understand the difference between the two names of the variable which may sound or spell exactly the same but they are represented differently so php is case sensitive that is the bottom line so creating the variables in php is called as declaring the variable as you can see on the screen and the wonderful thing is about php that you can use the variables without declaring them it means that you don't have to create the variable and then use it as you are proceeding in your program you can write a variable and start using it using of course the the nomenclature which i explained to you very briefly in the previous slide but there is one problem over here that if you use a variable which does not exist right and use it in a certain operation this may generate you got it this will not generate an error message and when that error message is not generated then it's very difficult to debug that error why because there was no error message so you may be getting some unexpected results because of using variables okay which of course you had not declared earlier and it is difficult to fix that error and bug because it's a logical error and one practice is about uh, variables is initializing the variables it is better that when you declare the variable you initialize the variable and if the variable is not initialized then the default null value is assigned to the variable 
now the question is why would you like to assign a value to a declared variable because when somebody is reading your code they would know and they would understand what value was assigned to that variable now there are eight data types which are used in php which are the scalar data type okay which consist of single value and then you have compound data type okay which can consist of multiple values for example array for that array you have a value okay and you have an index at which that value is stored and then you have special data types so overall there are eight different data types which makes php very versatile in terms of data types which are available to do the web programming now as i mentioned in the beginning of the module that php is loosely typed loosely typed means that when you assign or when you create a variable okay and you start using it then depending upon the context in which the variable is used the type gets assigned to the variable uh, to make it understand for example you create an integer variable okay and then you add a floating point number it becomes a floating variable and then you append something append some text to it and it becomes a string variable so you see that the, the type the data type of the variable changes as you go ahead applying different operations but java or say c they are strongly typed because once you assign the data type to the variable throughout the running of the program the type does not changes so we have certain positive aspects and negative good or bad with reference to the type good is obvious it makes uh, it makes it very flexible to work with variables in php but there are no error messages when there is a type mismatch and these bugs are difficult to track down which i also discussed now when you have all those different types of uh, variables okay there has to be a mechanism of testing the type of the variable so over here you can get the type of the variable using this command get type of the variable okay so so you assign a value to a variable that sets the type of the variable and then you use the get type command which will tell you over here true if the type is as per what it was assigned and of course you can also change the type of the variable also so over here using the set type command you type you change the variable type set type and set type okay and the correspondingly you can see the results which are displayed over here 